Thanks for watching Reef Man. I'm Matt, and today we're going to talk about how to feed your large polyp stony corals. All you need to feed your coral is an empty two liter bottle that you've cut the top off of, and some food. And so today I'm using PE Mysis, but you can use any meaty uh, shrimp or fish or anything like that because you're going to cut it up anyway into small pieces. This is the coral that I'll be feeding today. As you can see, there are several polyps. Each has its own mouth. You can see the bright green areas. There's some dots in them. Those are the mouths of the individual polyps. So the whole goal is to get food into each one of these polyps. That's why we have to cut it up small so that the coral is able to eat. So what you need to do is get a chunk of mysis or whatever you're going to feed your coral and it comes in a giant frozen package. This is PE mysis from Canada. Um, and it's really big, so you need to cut it up into small sections. And it will go everywhere, so be careful the way you do it. And just you know, chop it up like you would for small fish. Um, because the actual mysis shrimp is maybe a centimeter long and your coral will not be able to eat that. And then once you have it chopped up, you just take some aquarium water and dissolve it into the aquarium water. And then this way you can use the turkey baster to feed your coral. Okay, so using your bottle top, put it over the coral that you want to feed, making sure that any crabs are knocked out of the way. And this keeps the fish and crabs from eating the food that you're feeding your coral. And then you just take some of the food that you chopped up and try not to make a huge mess. And then you can just squirt it into your coral. And I try to do it very carefully because um, right now the feeding tentacles of your coral are not going to be out and um, there's nothing for the coral to grab the food with right now, but soon after you do this uh, you'll see that your coral will have its feeding tentacles out and then, um, then it will eat the mysis. So over the next 20 minutes, maybe, I don't know, 40 minutes, an hour, the coral will slowly eat your food that you, you gave it. You can see here um, the feeding tentacles are coming out. You can see them in the polyps that are closest to us around the green centers. There's little tentacles coming out. They will grab the mysis shrimp or whatever you're using to feed the, the coral. And then the little mouth in the center will open and uh, it'll just kind of shove it in. Um, you'll see that your polyps will uh, sort of like plump up. They, they gather uh, water and, and whatnot so that they can uh, more easily engulf the food because I don't think they have like muscles the way we do to swallow so they just kind of have to grow around the food um, so you'll see towards the end the the centers will all have little humps in them where the shrimp are uh, being digested and um, yeah give it for about an hour um, I sometimes even leave the the half bottle on overnight uh, because um, I've seen crabs come in and you know grab this food and rip it right out of the the polyps mouths um, so make sure that you uh, take care of that and you can see the polyps will move around a little bit um, you won't be able to see it in person but if you take video um, or maybe like pictures over time you can see the changes and um, you know these things that don't look like they're moving actually do move especially when there's food around to grab
I hope you liked this video. Uh, it is my first video on this channel. So uh, if you have any comments or things that I could improve, I'd be happy to hear them. Uh, leave a comment, let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, and I'll try to do better next time. Sorry for the sound quality, such something I'm working on still, and hopefully we'll be able to resolve that in the future. Thanks.